If you are born in early 90s then you are like me who is grown up playing Game Boy games and then specifically in their teenage age, I mean when I was teenager back in 2000, I played the hell out of Game Boy Advance SP. So here are the 33 Game Boy Advance hidden gems. Stay with me. So before I am going to tell you which are the 33 hidden gems of the Game Boy Advance, I want to give you my background. I played the Game Boy Advance and then got the Game Boy Advance SP. Even I bought the Game Boy Advance, uh, Game Boy Micro, but I sell off due to the Nintendo DS. It was my big mistake. It was my big mistake. Yes, playing the games on Game Boy Micro is I mean pain in the eyes but it's got one of the best screen. If you can't find the Game Boy Advance SP which I will recommend you to play the games then I will recommend you a new Game Boy which is called Revo X101 Plus. Again this is one of a hardware company why I'm supporting them because I really want more and more older gaming system to be hardware I mean manufacturer I mean you can just google it I will be including the Amazon link even their company link you can play all of your Game Boy Advance games with absolutely no problem this is a hardware based emul emulation rather than a software so I support them do not get me wrong I do not support the Piracy, I mean, if you don't know, Revo K101 Plus come with a K card or a flash card which you can download and put your ROMs on it. I do not support it. According to the law, if you have a physical copy, you can use the ROM, but I don't know. It's up to you, it's your country. I will strongly recommend to buy Game Boy Advance game from eBay from your local grass store and then try to dig out this. 33 hidden gym let's get started so the number 33 hidden gym is Ed Ed and Eddie I mean I love this I mean game I mean I watch a lot of cartoon it's a cartoon network based game do it need any introduction it's a 2d adventure game I love it number 32 is mission impossible operation surma Yes, Operation Surma, I played this game on the PlayStation 2. I love it. I mean, it's, it's similar to like the uh, Siphon Filter or a little bit like to James Bond, I mean. But on GBA, it's a lot of fun. Number 31 is a racing game, SimSim Road Rage GBA. I love it. I mean, it reminds me Mario Kart. Again, this is a hidden gem. I will be not. I will be not including any Mario game or any popular game in this video because these are the 33 hidden gems. So you can, I mean, grab a copy if you can find this game in your local grass sale or wherever you can. I will pay up to 10 bucks for this game. I mean, it's really pure fun. Number 30 is Harry Potter Chamber of the Secret, one of the best Harry Potter game ever built for GBA for any system. Again, it's like a top down, I mean, 2D, uh, 2D, a little bit RPG adventure type game. I mean, you can say, I would to say, a little Skyrim. I mean, to be honest with you, I enjoy a lot this game. So, number 29 is Army Man Advance, again, top down perspective game. I like this game, to be honest with you. It gave me a lot of fun back in the days. I play, I mean, this game on the original Game Boy Advance. My Game Boy Advance color was purple. So, number 28 is Tom and Jerry The Magic Ring, another 2D action game with a lot of fun. Number 27 is Sum of All Fear. Again, it, this is another game based on the movie, but it's very, very underrated. I really don't know why it's underrated, to be honest with you. I have no freaking idea why this game is underrated. I love it. Number 26 is Batman Begins. I personally consider that 3D Batman Begins on PlayStation 2 and Xbox is one of the best games. 
Batman Begins on the original Xbox is the best Batman game ever built. I hate Batman, I mean the modern reboot Batman, I mean I hate with passion for whatever the hell they call Batman, Arkham Knight, Origin, Dark Knight, whatever the hell it is I mean. This Batman Begins, I mean if you don't know, Batman Begins game is like, I mean you really feel you are someone who is trying to bring a chain but he do not have the superpower. I mean Batman Begins on GBA a lot of fun highly recommend number 25 is terminator 3 rise on machine a third person perspective if you don't know I mean, there's like 2d perspective 3d perspective uh, a gpf a lot of i mean action adventure and the shooting game in mean, third person perspective again i love it now 24 is star sky and forge again one of the hidden gem don't be surprised if you never heard of this game. This is a 3D open world game. I mean, again, under it is have a GTA type feel. I mean, a little bit is uh, how to say GTA plus a little bit mafia type feel and Godfather type feel. I mean, I love this game. Even there's a little bit driver feel. So, number 23 is Rampage Puzzle Attack. If you are a Tetris fanboy, if you like puzzle games, grab this game i mean this is a game must for any puzzle fan boy number 22 is disney atlantis the lost empire my favorite animation series of all time and then this game is superbly awesome number 21 is zapper one wicked cricket again if you're looking for 2d adventure game top down 2d adventure game you don't need to look further zipper is here for you Sorry, it's called zipper, no zipper. I mean, back in the days, I mean, I I used to call it zipper, zipper. I mean, Z I P, but the real spelling is Z A P P E R, zipper. You know what? It's a nostalgia thing. So number twenty is Rebel Star Technical Command, another to be honest with you, very solid tactical RPG game. Number 19 is 007 Everything or Nothing. I love this game. I mean, it is a one of the best. 3d top-down perspective game it's have a very good storyline highly recommends one of the i mean really very really, really really very underrated game on gba i mean even on the console number 18 is pirates of the caribbean dead man chest 2d game simple 2d side scrolling game awesome you are a pirate if you're looking for a pirate game on a gba this game is for you number 17 is lunar legend one of the very overlooked and underrated RPG game on Game Boy Advance. Number 16 is The Hobbit. It's like Skyrim plus Lord of the Ring. It's like an adventure, little bit RPG mechanic in it. I will just say Skyrim in your pocket. Number 15 is Rocket Power Beach Bandit. This is a sport game with some platforming and adventure. I have a lot of fun with this game. This game is a nostalgia power and better for me. I mean, to be honest with you, I love this game. Even now I play. If you don't know, I don't want to say something wrong. I own this physical copy. So I, I own this physical copy. I own. So I play on my Blackberry. So number 14, Frogger Adventure Temple of Frog. I love Frogger game. I love the PlayStation 2 Frogger game. I play on PlayStation Portable PSP. I love the GBA version more than anyone. GBA version is one of the best. I mean, if you like platforming with puzzle, this game must be for you. Number 13 is Pitfall Dialogues Expedition. Here is a catch. This is a 2D game, 2D side scrolling adventure game. But if you don't know, Pitfall Dialogues Expedition is the best 3D platformer ever built. My personal opinion, yeah, Mario is a good platformer. I mean, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro is a good platformer, but this is the best 3D platformer. I will say, I will say, buy this game on PlayStation 2, GameCube, on Nintendo. We play the hell out of it and then play in a 2D world. You will thanks me, my personal favorite. Currently, I am playing this game on my GameCube. I love. Don't if you're going to buy the Nintendo Wii version. Bear in mind the control suck. I mean, 
grab the GameCube or you want to get a best graphic one, get the PC version or the Xbox one. So number 12 is Tony Ox Pro Skater. After the mass of the Tony Ox Pro 5, I mean, you must need to play this one, I mean, to appreciate how good is Tony Ox game. Personally, I like Tony Ox game, I hate skating. I will never ever skate in my real life because I don't want to break my bones. I'm not saying I never dated when I was 10, 11 years old, but I am right now a married person. I won't want to break my bones. I want to break some bones in my GPA. So number 11 is Medal of Honor Underground. If you're looking for a 3D shooter, 3D FPS, 3D first person shooter because GPA have a lot of 2D or top down, I mean perspective, I mean 3D shooter, but this is a real 3D shooter. A must game for you. Do not, do not, do not buy into the super reviewer. I mean, I don't know the to side this game. Make fun of this game of graphics. They are mentally ill. I mean, GBA is not a graphical powerhouse. Okay, you just need to thanks that you are getting a good quality 3D game, 3D shooter game. I don't know why the hell. Do not listen to the reviewer. They are super. They are super paid guys. I mean, they are. I mean their job is I mean just making the fun of the games I mean they, that is not their hobby I mean reviewing games that is their job so number 10 is Thorson Return of Jungle another solid 2D platformer game I mean I love this game so number 9 is Rainbow Six Rock Spear top down tactical FPS game one of the really very hidden game I have talked to a lot of people I mean I mean on this game you can say I mean all of a GBA fanboy I mean have the same stand yes this is a hidden gym number 8 is Ninja 5 oh another hidden gym currently this game is I mean if you want this game in a solid seal if you want the Ninja 5o in a seal copy on amazon.com you can buy you know how much you can buy for 1399 so this game, I miss the second end game you can buy for 50 to 100 bucks. Please go to your local and garage and still try to find this game. This game is like a very expensive game on GBA. So, number seven is Broken Sword The Shadow of Templar. If you like click and point adventure, this game is for you. You need to click with a D pad, not with the mouse on GBA. So, number six is Road Rush Jailbreak. If you like I mean if you like how to say the biker games or a biker culture this game is for you this game is solid fun another solid good I mean 3d racing biking game number five is to rock evolution a solid similar to contra gameplay I love this game it's a little bit hard but pure 2d shooter game so number four is speed racing syndicate this game remind me the midnight club on PSP or PlayStation 3 Yes, there is a Midnight Club on GBA, but it's not a 3D racing game, it's a top down army racing game with 2 I mean. So, if you are a big fan of Midnight Club or Need for Speed, then this game is for you. Street Racing Syndicate, the graphics are not so good, I will admit it, the graphics are not so good. But it's pure fun, it's pure, I mean, arcade type racing. Number 3 is Driver 3R. If you want a GTA clone on GBA with a 3D graphic, then this game for you. Yes, there is a GTA game on Game Boy Advance, but the problem is that it's a top down game, not a 3D game. I mean, I love Driver game. I mean, I hate Driver San Francisco because they remove the vehicle uh, out or I mean, on the road, I mean, feature. But I love Driver 3R on PlayStation 2 and then Driver Paraline on PlayStation 2. I mean, this game I follow the same storyline on this I mean, like PlayStation 2 and then Xbox. Driver 3R is a pure 3D game. It's like, I mean, it's like you're playing a GTA. That's why it's rank number 3. Number 2 is, will be one of the big surprise for you. Kim Possible 2. Yes, there's Kim Possible 1 and Kim Possible 3. But the best platforming game is Kim Possible 2. I played a hell out of it for this specific game. Basically, I bought my Game Boy Advance SP. So now the number one, the number one, the number one. Gas, 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 gas. All of the links are in the description box below of these games. You can check it out. So the number one game is Berenstein Bears and the Spooky All Tree. 
Berenstein Bear the Spooky All Tree. I love this game. I love this game. This is the best 2D adventure hidden gym. Don't argue with me. Don't say Mario is the best adventure game because everyone knows Mario is the best adventure game. This is a hidden gym. Hidden gym means underrated game, overly looked game. So the number one overly looked game, so the number one hidden gym is Bernstein, Bears and Spooky All Tree. You can check all of the links in the description box below. And then if you want to know the place in the tree hidden gym, click here to watch. Before you start complaining about my stupid accent, I can't do anything. I have a tongue tie problem, so 